Hey everybody, my name's Michael. Welcome to the Herbstead. Today, we're building a banana circle. Got an exciting day today. All the banana trees I ordered just got here. We got 12 different varieties. We're gonna put them out in the yard as a banana circle. If you're not familiar with banana circles, totally go check them out. I'm making a little video telling people about my bananas. I'm going bananas, baby. You want to watch me? Okay. So, this little guy here, he only gets about three feet tall. So, we're going to put him in a pot and probably just put it out here by the pool. And then in the winter, if it's going to freeze or anything, we can just put it under the awning or bring him inside. And my daughter's enjoying an apple. And so, uh, yeah. If you're not familiar with banana circles, totally go online and check them out. Pretty neat. But we're going to go ahead and uh, plant these tomorrow. All right, today, so I'm here going to build my banana circle. We got like 11 or 12 varieties. They're gonna go in a circle. I don't know if you can see that stake right there. It's gonna be the center point. It's kind of down grade from my house. I get a rain out of the garage, comes down the driveway. And a lot of times it actually floods into this, dry, into this garage because it piles up. <clears throat> Where am I at? It, fills up right there and then it goes into the garage when it gets too full so I've been wanting to dig some sort of trench here that can run out that way where the downspout's headed and maybe put some concrete to pre like prevent it or some sort of trough and can channel all the water away from the garage and the, in the structure itself and then that's going to lead right down to the banana circle so it'll keep it nice and moist down there so Kind of the plan, hopefully it works out, and uh, let's get started. Alright, so the banana circle's been built, sorta, of, almost done with it. That's about three foot deep in the middle, about six foot at the base of those humps. And I put some good composted garden soil on the top of it because soil in Florida sucks, so I figured I might as well get some nutrients right at the bat, right off the start to these plants when I put them in the ground here in a few minutes. But I got a bunch of wood chips I'm gonna start throwing down in there. I got a bunch of some started compost to feed it and then we can plant the plants so progress it's been a hot day today but we're getting there all right the banana circle is planted put a couple lemongrass in there i'm gonna put some other stuff here soon I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to cover it with some mulch just to help keep that moisture in those mounds until these plants get established and get more wood chips in that center to start breaking down and feeding them so we'll see how this goes Alright, the banana circle is done. We got 11 varieties. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's downhill, sort of. It's not much of a grade, but we're going to have water that runs off down this way, and it's going to help keep that moist down in there, and then it'll help break everything down as we continue to throw compost and other things inside the center. I got to fill it up more tomorrow. It should be higher. 
<clears throat> then you just keep breaking, you know, throwing all your plant material and everything in there and composting it down. Start feeding all the bananas. So, yep, proud of this one. It was a lot of work today, but we got it done. All right, guys, we got that installed. That took some time, but it was well worth it. If you like this video and you want to see more of what we're doing on the Herbstead, go ahead and hit the subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified of uh, new videos when they're released. I'm going to go in and get a shower because I'm beat, but uh, we appreciate your uh, attention and we hope uh, you uh, stick around because we got a lot of cool stuff to share with you. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.